you won't pass those questions. Why not? Okay, if you do, I'll be very impressed. But you're very unlikely to pass those questions. But what will happen is that your brain will pay attention in the class in a completely different way. While you're studying, your brain pays attention in a different way. It absorbs, it retains, and it processes much more powerfully. So we are training your brain better. Even if you looked at that question and were like, I don't even know the words on the page. Never heard of this impairment thing. What the heck? Even if that is the case, even if you genuinely never seen this before and you are able to do nothing and you literally, you have like, the only answer is LOL. <laughs> no, nothing. I don't care. Your brain will pay attention in a different way when you're going to class the next day. You don't have to have the answer. I don't care. This is about how your brain works. Stop being afraid of problems you can't solve. Why are you afraid of problems you can't solve? You signed up because you want to be a future professional. You want to be a future finance leader, which means you have confidence in your ability, in your future, but you're too scared to look at a question you don't know the answer to. What is that? I'll tell you what it is. It's called learned helplessness. It's a, it's, it's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing. I've got some videos on my YouTube channel relating to like how, you know, are we taught not to think kind of thing. If you're interested and you're really looking at this, I want you to go and look at some of that stuff because what this is, is like by continually training you that you can only ever look at a problem if you have the solution, it means that I put you in a position of helplessness because it means that you're always in a position where you have to come to me first and go, Yvonne, can you give me the answer? You come to class, I will tell you what to do. I will tell you what to think. I will give you the information. And only then are you allowed to look at a problem. I've taught you to be helpless. That is very different from if way back when, from the very beginning of our studies, we came to class or we came to, to a, a teacher and the teacher said, here's a problem. I want you to just play around with it. If all of your studying experience was, here's a problem you've never seen before. I just want you to play around with it. Come up with like something completely ridiculous. Totally crazy. Yeah. My solution is, you know, I would go invade outer space and find aliens. I don't care. What I would be doing is injecting you with a sense of, I have the ability to think for myself. And once I've thought of stuff and come up with it, then we can talk about which is a better solution. We can talk about what it, but when you're in a situation where you are afraid to look at questions because you don't know the answer, that is learned helplessness. It's very easy to teach someone to be help, helpless, unfortunately. But by doing that, we have been taught not to think for ourselves. Some of it is going to be, I have no idea. I'm sucking my thumb. <laughs> I've never heard of this before. But if that's the case, I want you to go through that way before you get into the exam. Because then we can work on it together. Do the questions. Do the nastiest, most horrible, highest level question you can before the exam. And then we can talk about it.